Agribusiness is taking over, poisoning, bankrupting and enslaving. The hogs dump their feces and urine on the floor. It goes under the hog house out to a lagoon. They slop it on the fields. It runs off into the ditches and it goes right down to our streams, creeks and rivers. Basically untreated waste. When it's spraying, you just cut your breath off. And you get like phlegm in your throat. You, your eyes start running, you know, and you just get a headache. What we have is the application of industrial systems that were designed to build cars and build machines to living creatures. Could you please tell us what, what are your concerns? I want to clean the water so that my mother lived in pure water, so that she could live according to nature and not have corruption. Everything, just not corruption. Every one of these facilities puts out one billion antibiotic resistant bacteria every day that crosses the property line and threatens the health of people who live downwind of those facilities. We've got a system here which is actually causing the pigs to be carrying dangerous infections which are going to come home and haunt us. And meat which may appear very cheap could be at the cost of our own lives. This is the Walmartization and commoditization of every product. The whole mission of the European Bank has been to industrialize Central and Eastern European agriculture, pushing out small farmers, opening it up to takeover by foreign corporations. nie zgadzamy i to jest nie do przyjęcia, bo to są typowe praktyki monopolistyczne. monopolistyczne. Tak, jeżeli dzisiaj chłopi przyjechali sprzedaż. Ściągniki posprzedawałem prasę, sprzedałem, żeby dochować to co mam. I kończę, bo nie wiem czy pójdę na emeryturę, czy się powieszę, czy co zrobię, czy wyjadę. They're homogenizing and they're diminishing quality of life. We need a revolution now. The fight against the corporate feudalism that is embodied so much by this industry that is eroding everything and subverting everything that we care about in our democracy. We stop the concentration and we integrate at the same time the well-being animal, the question of the health, the question of the environment, at the interior of the system of production. If this is integrated in the system of production, this type of gigantesque industrial ne pourront pas continuer. Donc il faudra interdire de manière claire l'élevage industriel concentrationnaire à l'intérieur de l'Europe. The consumer ultimately has the power. They can say whether they buy cheap pork, that they don't care where it's produced or how it's produced or the quality of it. And ultimately, if the consumer refuses to buy that and prefers to buy meat which has a high welfare standard produced in an environmentally sensitive way, then we'll be on to a winner. <laughs> we need to understand how bad the consequences of industrial agriculture are to small farming communities, to human health and to environmental health. And we all need to go on a journey of reconnection with these issues. So watch the film. How do you really get the, the world economy to, to think your way? And I think it's unless you re people realise it's health and, and taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and also, it's inhuman. What was fantastic about Tracy's film was it tied together the two issues, that this is about social injustice, as well as about the fact that we're eating rotten food and we are destroying our planet. There are a lot of people who probably are never going to lose a lot of sleep about animal welfare, but they are going to get very upset if they think that their own health is threatened by a, a product. Thank you, Tracy, and I think you are the real star tonight, and I want to thank you sincerely for the animals, uh, for the people that are affected by this, and for the environment. Thank you for having the balls 
to make this film. The, the one thing that we all agree on here is that to bring uh, farming back to farmers. Clearly they're the heroes of our society. I mean, they feed us. And yet they've been treated like they're nothing. And their, their livelihoods, their families, everything's been destroyed by these uh, you know, corporate factory farming. Tony, the key thing this film does is it shows the lie behind the idea that some of the food we eat is cheap. This idea of cheap food is only cheap because we've absolutely failed to look at the cost, to account for the cost, the cruelty, environmental pollution, the health, the effect on livelihoods, the fact that hundreds of thousands of people around the world are being pushed aside in order to make way for a new kind of agriculture which produces what we call cheap food, which is nothing of the sort. And one of the greatest horrors is obviously the uh, power that corporations have to subvert local legal systems, national governments, you saw senior cabinet ministers in the Polish government on that film tonight absolutely powerless to resist the corporations just trampling over the environmental laws, throwing people out of work, you know, completely destroying the uh, culture of, the, of uh, rural Poland. I think this film should be seen by everyone. It should be seen by policy makers, it should be seen by corporate companies, it should be seen by the general public. Anyone who is involved in buying food or selling food needs to see this film. We have to stop factory farming. We have to stop this animal cruelty. We have to stop these public health threats. We have to stop this environmental degradation. We cannot any longer treat each of these disparate areas of breakdown as single issues. We've got to join together. This is single issues is shifting chairs on the Titanic. We have to look at the root cause, the corporate takeover, reclaim our food economy, have small farmers, small retailers, and small distributors. Get our shops back, have quality food. We believe if those imports continue a stall and tether produced pig meat, then we believe it should be labeled, and not just labeled in an obscure way, but labelled in a way which says this product has been produced in ways which are illegal in the UK. It's the supermarket's fault that their labelling is so rubbish because it's their labelling. And, and their labelling is terrible, as we saw from the film. It's impossible to get the salient information from a pork product or a chicken product as to what country it comes from and what system it's been raised in. And, and how hard need that be because we, we know what the systems are, uh, there are regulations, there are labels, and yet everything is done to obfuscate the, the, the truth behind the product. We need to see real action from politicians. It's not just about consumers going out and, and spending their money wisely, it's about calling for proper change. That means looking out for our small farmers, looking out for our farm base in this country, raising standards, and actually putting the brakes on what is effectively a corporate takeover of the global food system. And there's nothing short of that.